We are told that the empirical formula is C3H5O. We are being asked to determine the molecular formula. In order to do that, we have to take the molecular formula mass and divide it by the empirical formula mass, which is going to give us an integer that we then multiply across the empirical formula and that will give us the molecular formula. So we are told that the molecular formula mass is 57.08 grams per mole. We're going to divide that by the empirical formula's mass, which would be 12.01 times 3 for the carbon plus 1.01 times 5 for the hydrogen plus 16 for the oxygen. This math gives us an integer of 1, which we then multiply across the empirical formula. 1 times 3 means we have 3 carbons. 1 times 5 means there's 5 hydrogens. And 1 times 1 means there's 1 oxygen. So C3H5O is going to be the molecular formula, which just happens to be the same as the empirical formula in this particular problem. So the answer is C.